Right, I was asked to do videos on NBC suits and videos on radiation and gas masks and can a gas mask protect you from radiation so here's the video, this is a bit of an explanation one but you can hopefully see I've got a full uncomfortable NBC suit on this is an East German one so it's pretty much of Soviet design from 1970 the first generation of suit the trousers and the top section aren't separate I don't have gloves on my hand because that would be even more of a pain to set this whole suit up, but um, let's get talking about it. So, I get asked a lot, can gas masks protect you from radiation? And the answer is really yes and no. You have to understand there are three types of radiation, alpha, beta and gamma. And of those three types, there is very different ways it affects you. So we'll start off with alpha radiation. Alpha radiation is normally where particles such as dust and things like that have become contaminated with radiation, they become radioactive. Alpha radiation is incredibly dangerous if you inhale it. Now, it's very easy to prevent inhal inhalation of alpha radiation. Any sort of mask with a particulate filter on it, that will block alpha radiation. So, alpha radiation is easily blockable. So it's the most dangerous form of radiation when it's the same amount as any other but it's the most dangerous but it's also the easiest to block then you have beta radiation and beta or beta radiation is basically a burning kind of radiation that hits the skin so as long as your skin isn't exposed the mask can protect you the mask can protect your face and eyes but it can't protect your body a bit like if you're going against something like mustard gas or nerve gas your skin needs to be totally covered. So at the moment, I am totally defended against beta radiation except my hands. I could get something called beta burns. If we scroll down, you will see, hopefully, that I have got my full NBC suit on. None of my skin is exposed. That's all sealed up. So, let me get that back on my face. Let's play with the camera a second. So, beta radiation can only affect you if your skin is exposed. So at the moment my hands are exposed. Maybe I get a bit of burns around the eyes, because I don't know if it could penetrate the plastic of the um, mask lenses. But beta radiation certainly, certainly couldn't really affect me with this full NBC suit on, but it's very uncomfortable. Then we have gamma radiation. And gamma radiation will be the one that will get you, because a mask cannot stop it, an NBC suit cannot stop it. Gamma radiation is like x-rays, you even need very thick concrete or lead to actually block the gamma rays. They're penetrating radiation that will shoot right through you. As it shoots through you, it's essentially boiling your cells, scrambling your cells, which can lead to radiation poisoning and cancers, depending on the severity of your exposure. The amount of radiation and the time exposed are both important factors. So, it's totally impractical to have a suit made of lead, if you've watched any of the videos of Chernobyl, you'll know the Chernobyl liquidators are wearing bits of lead on their NBC suits to try and block as much as that radiation as possible from getting hitting their vital organs, things like that. But you can't wear a full lead suit. So, that's the important thing with radiation and gas masks. A mask can easily protect you from alpha and beta radiation, but not gamma. If you want full protection from beta radiation, you'd also need one of these suits on. And these suits are really uncomfortable because it's basically wearing a very thick waterproof jacket that covers your entire body so your sweat cannot escape. The only part of me where I'm actually losing temperature now is my hands and I'm starting to basically have a sauna suit going on with this suit. Just to show you the sort of suit again, I'll scroll the camera down. As you can see, it's like a totally waterproof, weatherproof suit. So I will be talking more about NBC suits in coming videos, so stay tuned for those. But to answer your question, a mask can protect you from alpha and beta radiation, but not the gamma radiation. That will be what gets you. You only need a simple particulate filter for radiation, of P3, you know, the high ratings. You don't need a NBC SIP filter, because the um, activated charcoal won't do anything with regards to radiation. So... There you go, hopefully that's explained everything, and you can see here what a gas mask looks like with an NBC suit. 
This mask isn't designed to go with this suit. This is an East German suit designed for the Soviet helmet style masks with the filters coming out around here. But it does work with this and it does make an airtight seal. Speaking of NBC suits, I actually prefer the rubberized ones like this and the activated charcoal impregnated suits because of the fact that the suit actually does keep water totally out. It's not using um, adsorption to try and stop some of the chemicals getting through. It's just a completely watertight, airtight suit. So, there you go. Can a gas mask protect you from radiation? Yes and no.